Chad Johnson. In the ultimate Chad move. Improved by 13 points once we signed him. I am so salty right now. <sighs> Is Justin Pogey still out there? If not him, we're going for Ray Emery. Well, he's also a 71. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Why does Pogey also have to be a 71? Son of a bitch. We're going for Razor. We want to bring in Ray Emery to be the backup now because Chad Johnson decided to live up to his namesake and improve by 13 damn points. And I have a full roster, so I can't even bring in Razor right now. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, hey. We, we have a general idea of what we have to do. Which includes getting rid of Horkoff, Zeeler, and Chad Johnson if we can, because we want Hospelt to be the starter. Um, but yeah, Norbert's looking great, which is great. And again, NHL goaltending, Tara Tukin's insane. Defensively, this is going to be insane. Green, Letty, OEL, Gormley, Saunders, Mahu, LeBlanc, Boudry, Melloc are all NHL caliber defensemen. So we have to make some decisions in terms of what that defense is going to be. It doesn't leave too much on the AHL side of things. Um, and you'll certainly be able to argue. I mean, Jesse Mills, he's a depth defenseman now. He's he's close to being good, but... Oh, we yell at center. <laughs> So obviously we signed Letty and Green recently. That top four is absurd. But Mahu and Saunders are now also top four. I feel like Rafael Mahu we could get rid of. But we're not getting rid of Rudy Saunders. Right? That's that's pretty straightforward. Rudy's staying. Mahu is an ungodly skater, though. Holy shiz. 90 defensive awareness. Honestly, has good body checking despite the lack of aggressiveness. This guy's insane. And then there's Rudy, who's also insane. Holy hell. I knew signing Green and Letty could be a mistake, but Jesus. And you got Melloc, who's four and a half gold. So the question is, it's like, do you stick with certain younger players or just immediately flip Letty and Green? Getting rid of 288s isn't exactly ideal. Can they take face-offs? Good question. Um, 50, 50, 50, 50, 51, 60 in face-offs for Gormley. 66 for Mike Green. What the hell are we going to do there? Wow. Okay. This has turned into one of our bigger puzzles of a team. As you see the trade value of Letty and Green, if we were to use them, we could do some incredible things. So you have to look at the trade value for Mahu and Melloc. I mean, Nick Letty should be a tremendous skater. I mean, he's, he's just great. He's great. He had 33 points last year, 57 the year before. And then Mike Green, we know, did tremendously last season. He was the Norris winner. I mean, it's Mike Green, but he is 33 years old. 77 points last year. Jesus. Is there a player where it would make sense to combine those two to get one player. Like Sam Reinhardt on Buffalo. Taves, Kane, and Saad. Nathan McKinnon. Duchesne. I mean, McKinnon would be great, but his value is probably too high. If we're being honest, Ryan Johansson. 
It's a dude named Green. Fifth overall pick in 2016, Charles Green, a power forward at left wing. Dallas has Sagan, Ben, Jamie Alexiak. Hell yeah. Tyson Bailey still turns into a great player. Xavier Hallett and Keith Yandel. Edmund Tim with Nuge and Taylor Hall. The GOAT, Marty Marinchin. Barkoff and Ekblad. Dowdy and Kopitar. I'm looking at the Islanders here. More than likely. They got Shugihara. First overall pick last year. This was the first overall pick this year. Edgar Lee. It's also pretty damn good. But yeah, if we could make that trade with the Islanders. Or the New York Rangers for that matter. For one of the last two first overall picks. Wouldn't really be able to complain. Again, not that Letty and Green can't help us immensely. Because they can, but... Let's go talk to the New York Islanders. The good thing is, though, too, we signed those guys very early on. So enough time may have passed that we might not get in trouble. What will be a problem is cap space. That'll be a problem. Shiz. Uh-oh. That'll be a big problem for Shigihara. Cody friends and still isn't enough. So if we take on Cody Franzen and Calvin DeHaan, it obviously eats into the value a little bit. But Kurt Shugihara, who's already a legitimate first liner. You could argue it might hurt him a little bit to be second line behind McDavid. Should we could play Connor at second line center at this rate. Not like he's crushing it. I just think we could add more to this and still get it. Letty and Green for Shugihara, Franz, and Dahan a first and a second. No. What if we take out the second? Okay, still no. What about just the second? Yeah, see, they don't want to do it outright because they don't want to trade Shugihara. Uh, what do we have that we could add to this? Not having to really add anybody. It's Coinisto, who's only a 59 at 18 years old. It's Martindale. Peter's a 68 at 19 years old, which isn't that bad. Damn. Honestly, I mean, Coinisto being a 59 at 18... And he is a four-star, but could we get Kurt Shukihara out of this? Big boy DFD was a second-round pick. I want to keep O'Burn. Will this go through? Yes, it will. We use Letty and Green, along with another prospect, to land the former first overall pick, Kurt Shukihara. Not a bad bit of business. I might get in trouble for it. We'll see. But that is a pretty sweet deal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we know we're going to send down DeHaan. And we know we're going to send down Cody Franzen. We still have at least one decision to make on the defensive side of things. Right wing side, that's good. Left wing side, it's a little bit weak. Yeah, we'll still have some decisions to make here. Let's go best lines. That is a blockbuster trade, to say the least. What the hell are we going to do defensively? We know the goalies that we have to trade. I mean, it makes sense for it to be LeBlanc or uh, Guillaume Bougerie and the fact that this guy is a point worse. 
LeBlanc started getting paid. Might make sense for it to be Boucherie that uh, gets the the boot here. And then in the system, we know we're going to have to try to flip Franzen and Calvin DeHaan. So let's see. That leaves OEL and Gormley, Saunders and Mahu, LeBlanc and Melloc. Damn. I always feel bad for trades like that that we just did, but at this point, eh, who cares? It's an old game. Let's have fun. Um... Honestly, it might have made us worse. We might not have needed the extra offense. We might have needed those on defense. And then AHL's defense. We have Mills and Stoll. And then Sean Day with, I don't know who. We'll see out of these players who we end up signing because it'll probably be these guys that fill out the roster. Um... So let's see what else we can do. We have a couple of the trades that we have to make here, even if it's just cap dumps. In goal, Horkoff actually did start to develop, but again, now is the time to get rid of him. Um, is there a team that has like three goalies signed? Because we could get all three of these guys off the roster quick and easy. Columbus might work. So Horkoff, Johnson, and Zeeler. Horkoff, Johnson, and Zeeler. Um, second rounder? Cut Johnson out. All right, just Horkoff. How about a third and a fifth? Move Horkoff to Columbus. Probably lost a little bit on the deal. It's not a big deal. Uh, need to move Chad Johnson somewhere for literally anything. Literally anything, please. Can anybody take this goalie? Boy for sale. All right, Los Angeles. Seventh rounder. Move on from Chad Johnson. And then goalie-wise, we got Zeeler. We also wanted to get rid of... Can we move him anywhere? Anywhere at all. Nashville for a sixth. There we go. All right, so those are the goalies gone. Um, defensively, let's get rid of these dudes that we know have to go. Just for right now, Cody Franzen actually has some value. Go figure. Uh, but it's Cody Franzen, Calvin DeHaan, and Mr. Bougerie that need to go. Uh, Ottawa, interested in all three of them. You have a prospect by the name of Doyle. Would be a pretty nice pickup. That wouldn't be too bad. Already the value is not really on our side. What else would we have to pick up here? Um, the bus. Bemstrom. Okay. It's a cap issue. Two million over, son of a bitch. Uh, is there anybody interested in all three that can actually afford them all? I highly doubt it. Montreal. Montreal. Usatala. We take up Usatalo. What about Jacobs? And uh Delisle Hood. Franzen, Dahan, and Bougerie, three NHL caliber defensemen. We get back dudes, basically. That's all we need. That is a done deal. Probably could have gotten a little bit more back, but that is okay. Jacobs absolutely sucks. Can we flip him? 
I mean, Zatala wasn't that bad. Uh, can we flip Jacobs for literally anything? I just need to free up the contract spot. Seventh rounder? Nope. Seventh rounder? Nope. There we go. Flip him to the Islanders for a seventh. We are wheeling and dealing and to hell with the consequences. What are you going to do? Take away my last phone? I don't think so. You don't have the balls. I do need to go sign a goalie like Ray Emery to be the AHL backup. As I try to fight off the sneeze, it's not going too well for me either. Oh my God, help, help. All right, so back to our defense then. This is madness at this point. Two, three, four, five, six. So the AHL will have Usatalo. That is the NHL decided right there. AHL will have Usatalo, Mills, Stoll, and Day. Which means we have room for two other dudes. Which, I mean, based off of listed potentials, is pretty straightforward. I would imagine. And we can go with Martindale. And I have a tough call, but I'm feeling Alf Olofsson. So let's go with those two to round out this roster. Go with Olofsson and Martindale. So oof. We must sign you. And we must sign the Don Martindale. Try to get him to develop. So that's the defense and the goaltending taken care of. Forwards where it gets a little bit more difficult because there is Alex O'Byrne and some of these other younger guys. I do need to check if O'Byrne has developed enough. Stubbs, what's going on, by the way? We can go check the trade screen to see if Alex O'Byrne is where we need him to be now. But, God, we better make the playoffs. We better. Getting Shugihara on this team, we better make the playoffs. O'Burn's a depth forward, so we're still not going to sign him. We'll hold off for one more year, let him tear up Junior. Bit of a shame, but I do feel like that's a good way to go. Uh, so defense, send down Martindale, send down Olofsson, send down Usatalo. He's climbed into bed. Jealous. Could face plant in the bed right now, it'd be a good time. Your bed? What? I'm married. Leave me alone. Um, so on the wing, then. Tarasenko, Wenberg, Hitting, Falkenham, Lightning. Chad Moses was American. So we could sign him. I don't know what Lance Peters was looking like. Let me see. Matthew, thank you. By the way. Um, sorry, just my brain's going a thousand miles a minute trying to figure out what the hell our roster is going to be, man. Crazy. So in terms of the roster, it could be pretty similar to what it was last year at forward, which is a little bit scary because we did not make the playoffs with it. Um, but it could be Tarasenko as our top right wing. Alex Wenberg, I did not imagine becoming a part of a core. And then Hedink and Falkenham. With the subsequent right side. Let's see, Moses was 19. Peters, okay. So the AHL. Could be Lightning, Walmart, Daoust, and Leaked with Mike Brown as the uh, healthy scratch on the NHL side of things. Left wing side, that's pretty straightforward. We'll have Domi and Lesio. And then we do have two depth forwards and a couple of other guys kind of in the mix. Probably too many guys. Let's give the depth forwards a chance. You know, they can be the experiment to see if maybe we should have signed O'Byrne. 
because a burn would actually go straight to the second line. So we'll see. Let's try out Vanderweel and uh, Pelletier at the NHL level this year. And then AHL uh, is we have Ralph, Renaud, and Romano, and then either Janssen, Rankin, or Manjapani. It's going to be Manjapani. Breaks through and gets a spot. Um, Rankin, Janssen, they're not really worth trading, so it's fine. Centers! Holy shit. Okay. The argument then can become Vanderweel and Palatier don't even have to play. <sighs> Fuck. We have so many guys that I want to work on to this team. Center kind of blows up what we're looking to do, though. If we look in the system. Let's just sign O'Burn now. Even if he doesn't play this year, send him down. But let's sign him at least. Chad Moses, you were the American. Sign you, even though I don't remember if he played in the CHL or not, but it's fine. Peters was Canadian, and so was La Liberté. Okay. Let's see what we can put together here. This team is outrageous. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. That's good. And then if we just look at forwards. Swap Moses. All right, so Moses goes back to junior. We'd have to call up Lighten in a minute if we could. Send in to junior for Lighten. And fine, just send down Moses. Leave me alone. We have so many depth forwards. Oh my God. Send down uh, the Lyle Hood. Does that leave me space? To call up Lightning. Yes, it does. We have so many depth forwards. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if we send down Lightning, anybody that's listed as a depth forward, including Alex O'Byrne. Could be sent down, and we just go with the highest rated dudes. And actually, it'll burn, it looks like, goes to junior. Or not junior, goes to the AHL. He does, so he would tear it up with Portland. Damn. I mean, if we don't worry about playing people in their proper position and just go off of, hey, here's what the roster is, we can build a pretty damn good team. Like Alfaro, Falk, and Hedink on the fourth line. We have three snipers, Dow Fan, Shugihara, and Tarasenko. So we could split them up on their own line. Positions hasn't worked so far, that's true. So, like, Broussard, Wenberg, Dauphin as the third line. Lesio, Barzal, Tarasenko, Domi, McDavid, Shigihara. I mean, that should work. 390 overalls for forwards. Almost four, with Domi at an 89. Like, that should be really good. And I thought that last year, but now it's even better. Gormley, OEL, Saunders, Mahu, LeBlanc, Melloc. Dude, if this team can't make the playoffs, what team could? 78 face-offs for Domi. 75 for McDavid. 77 for Shugiara. So let's go like McDavid, Domi, Shugiara. I don't hate that. Uh, Lesio, 79 face-offs for him. Barzal to 63 despite being a center. And then the 60 for Tarasenko. So we'll go Tarasenko, Lesio, Barzal. Third line, what do we got? 79 for Broussard. 74 for Wenberg. And an 81 for Dauphin. 
So like Wenberg, Dow fan, Broussard. Oh yes, the top two centers are wingers. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. The top three centers are wingers, actually, on this team. Uh, and then Alfaro at a 73 for faceoffs. Falkenham at a 69. And a 71. So we'll go Falkenham, Alfaro, and Hedink. They gotta be able to make the playoffs, right? Please, God. And then the AHL just off of best lines. O'Burn, Harkins, Lightning as a top line. Like, look at some of the talent that's in the AHL. <sighs> Dude, if we can't make the playoffs, I'm going to be so disappointed.